Hello, we are excited to be planning and hosting in-person programs, services, and events again. As we live in this new normal, we want to share our perspectives and policies. Making decisions that please everyone is never really possible. But making decisions during a pandemic is particularly challenging. There have been so many unknowns. There have been too many rumors and conspiracy theories. And there has been too much distrust and confusion. We encourage you to visit the Dear Pandemic Facebook page and to visit our YouTube channel and website to see our COVID-19 conversation. Those resources are expert, trustworthy sources that we have captioned and interpreted. So that our community has full access to good information from experts we know and trust. Additionally, the CDC has published some signed and captioned videos. Though the pandemic is not over, our current situation is much improved from a year ago. Thanks to vaccinations, the sacrifice of those who practice social distancing, and the hard work of many people Many of us can now remove our masks and remove a communication barrier for our community. We are enjoying a new normal and we are excited about being able to see more people in person. We know everyone will not agree on the right things to do. Some people will think we are too strict. Some will think we're not strict enough. Everyone will have opinions, but we must make the best decisions we can. Whatever our personal opinions, let's leave division and disagreement out there in the rest of the world. Here in our hearts, we are one strong, cohesive, compassionate community. And we respect that we are all making the best decisions we can as we go. And that we are trying to love and care for one another. So how do we make decisions? We read the science. We consult the experts. We prioritize loving and caring for each other. When we consider the options, we must consider wants versus needs, preferences versus needs. Yes, people want to remove masks. People prefer to remove masks. Some people want to say no to vaccines. People want to do what they want to do. We all have opinions and preferences, and we rely on those when we make decisions for ourselves. But in a pandemic, we have to think of each other as well. Some people have needs. Some people need others to wear masks. They need to socialize only with vaccinated people due to medical conditions or other risk factors or loved ones who are at risk or jobs that work with vulnerable populations. It is important that we prioritize needs over wants and it is important that we respect and care for each other. With all these perspectives in mind, here are our current policies. 
all our staff, both Bridges Tennessee and Bridges West, are vaccinated. We are thrilled that our staff is able to work safely and without masks. We are also accepting fully vaccinated volunteers and interns. When entering the building, please wear a mask. Stop at the front desk to sign in. Please wait for a staff member. We will check your temperature and ask you to wash or sanitize your hands. We will also ask if you are vaccinated or not. We may ask for proof of vaccination. Vaccinated clients, community members, are welcome to walk in and or make appointments to see staff, to use computers, to use fitness facilities, or to use video phones as needed. Appointments are always encouraged, but we also consider our building your building, your home. We want you to feel welcome and safe anytime. For those members of the community or clients who are not vaccinated, we have some additional policies. If you are not vaccinated, please make an appointment. The first option is to meet via Zoom, which will allow us to meet without masks and to use as much time as needed. However, even if you are unvaccinated, we can meet in person. You must have an appointment, wear a mask at all times, maintain social distancing, and limit the time. You will enter the building at your appointment time and exit when the appointment time is over. Through the summer and fall, We will prioritize outdoor activities as these are safest for everyone. We really want to socialize together and have programs and workshops together. So please join us for these activities. For each event, we will share information about the number of people allowed and any specific safety policies. For most outdoor events, we will ask unvaccinated participants to remain masked and distanced at all times. For other events, including indoor events, we will ask that you either be vaccinated or have a negative COVID-19 test within the last 48 hours. In the past, various groups and clubs have used our building when available for meetings. In August, we will begin allowing outside groups to request use of our community room again. We do have specific and strict policies for using the building, and we will share those upon request. Each request will be considered on a case-by-case -case basis. For all these policies, please know that there may be updates at any time. We will continue to see what happens and adjust as needed. Finally, Thank you. We love our community. And we are grateful for all your love, patience, leadership, and support. The last year has not been easy for anyone, but we really did well together.
We are proud that we continued every program and service without interruption. We learned a lot over the last year and we will continue to offer virtual programs and services, even as we open up in-person options too. We have lots of work to do together and we are thankful for the opportunity to serve you. Let's have a great summer. Embrace the new normal. Stay safe, have fun, get involved, and come see us. Thank you.